introduction to Excel. Why is Excel so popular and Excel basics? Uh, most of you probably attended the first part of this uh, presentation, so we will just glance over the presentation quickly. Uh, Q and A. We we will not have a Q and A at the end of presentation, but when we finish uh, the examples. So, introduction to Excel, with definition, purpose, and key features. I will share with, with all of you this presentation, so you you have it for your personal usage. So as we already said, Microsoft is one of the most popular uh, applications today, especially in the business purposes, and it's widely used in finance, in statistics, and so on. And, and in business tracking. Uh, key benefits of Excel are data management, automation, and visualization. As we already said last time, there are endless possibilities of data visualiz visualization in Excel and also automation. It is possible to link it with many other applications. So why is Excel so popular and, and usable? It is an uh, application with very wide usage, very customizable, and it's user-friendly. Also, not to mention, it is uh, it is compatible with lots of other applications and even databases. Most of databases use Excel for, for import and export of data, and also real-world application. <clears throat> Once again, these are the examples of data in Excel, you, you see you can have tables, you can have graphical presentation, you can have dashboards, just like any application on your phone. If you can visualize something in your head, you can show it on Excel. Navigating the Excel interface, <laughs> we will glance over this quickly because we will show it uh, soon in the real application. So most important thing to remember, is navigation in Excel, when we say, for example, A7 cell, it is just like on chessboard. That's the address of that cell. It is intersection between column A, for example, and row seven. You see, we, we have here an exa example of the cell K7. It is column K and row seven. So this is the most important thing to remember now, because later when we, when we go on the real examples, we will, uh, many, say many times, for example, B4 plus C4. So just just so we know, uh, we can we can uh, track better later. <clears throat> for navigating the interface, we already said we have a toolbar. Uh, in the Excel toolbar, there are endless options. We will, uh, in this presentation, we will go over the maybe home and 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 data one today. Uh, that's pretty much it for the presentations. I wouldn't wouldn't uh, wouldn't bother you with this because we already uh, went through this last time. <laughs> so we can close the presentation and we can go to Excel. So when we open up Excel, this is the blank file. This is what we see. <clears throat> you see we have columns. We have rows. For data insertion, we can just click, you see when we click on certain cell, it is highlighted in this green border. We can click on other cell. Uh, you will notice I can move mouse, but uh, highlighted cell will not change. When Only when I click, for example, if I click on C3, uh, highlighted cell is C3. Now, when I want to insert some data, I just start type on, typing on the keyboard, for example. I am so sorry to uh, interject something, uh, Peter. Uh, mm -hmm. Currently, we are just looking at your desktop. Uh, the... oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, but not uh, any, again. any interaction with uh, Excel, actually. Sorry, sorry, maybe I shared the wrong screen. Okay. Do you see it now? Yes. Okay. Oh, excellent, excellent. Then I don't know, maybe right. presentation didn't sh show uh, in best format, but we went through a presentation last time. Okay. So just to recap, this is the blank Excel file that we see right now. When we open Excel, 
you can open it for example on the on the start and just start typing excel we click and this is the blank file that we see for navigation we click on cells you see they are divided pretty much like like chessboard but endless chessboard if i want to type something in the cell b3 i need to click on cell b3 and, and I, then i type month for example when i uh, if i move mouse somewhere else this cell is still, still selected so i can type again it will type in that cell regarding the data entry in excel excel recognizes two types of data something in the cell is either text or number most of you are probably familiar with the formulas in excel so formulas mostly uh, they have to do with numbers we cannot i don't know sum to text or we cannot we can't uh, divide one text by another we can only do that with numbers so for the data entry, as we said, we can just click on the cell and start typing, or we can click up here in the formula bar. <clears throat> you see here example of the TXT format and the number format. When we uh, insert text format, it is aligned to the left side of the cell. When we insert the number, it is aligned to the right side. I, I'm saying this because sometimes uh, if we have number formatted as TXT, TXT format, it is aligned to the left side and Excel does not recognize it as number. We cannot add these two numbers because bottom one is recognized as TXT. That's the common issue when people are doing something in Excel. Uh, one uh, one number can be inserted as t txt and it messes up the whole file but maybe I, I started too fast let me let me just explain the different different formats of, of data in excel if you go to, to the next sheet sorry this one so these are some of the most common uh, date data formats that we will go over now let me just delete this. And this uh, in the G column. This is uh, I wrote this so you can just uh, see better. So this is the blank format. If I just type one and then click enter, it is formatted as number. If I click one and we go over here and format it as number. You see it has decimal points but keep in mind this and this cell are completely identical value of those cells are identical we are just seeing it differently so excel uh, formats it visually in, in different way but it, these are completely identical values value of this cell is one value of this cell is one this one is interesting if you click one and we format it as date, short date. It says January 1st, 1900. So Excel also can format it as date, <clears throat> but it is just showing us the date. This is still value of the cell is still one. If we, uh, if I click this cell, start writing two and enter, it will say January 2nd because it remembers the format of the cell i can input any number but format will be date uh, in excel uh, start of date format is is january 1st 1900 so if i for example write 1001 let me just this is the 1000 first day from january 1st 1900 so dates are formatted like that in excel so it starts from the january 1st 1900 uh, for the sake of this exercise we will input here one and enter so you can see txt also we 
we already show this example it it aligns it in the, to the left side and and current c1 if we for example go over here this is the default currency for my region but uh, maybe easier way to format the data is right click format cells we have here many options for the formatting we can say currency and choose any currency in the world for example japanese yen i don't know or or i don't know maybe us dollar i can't find it right now but uh, here it is english i know australian dollar it gives it a dollar sign and then one so all of these are the identical values for, of the cell we are just seeing it differently let me first show you how to summarize or, or add a few cells to see how formulas work and then i will show you why are these uh, the same value of the cell for example if we have like this in these two yellow cells we can we can write formula in the orange cell to add up these two cells whenever we we are writing formula we start with equals and then we can just click on this cell plus this cell enter so this orange cell automatically adds up values from these two cells if we change the value from one cell right now you you can see that orange one is also automatically updated this is this is for example useful if we have uh for example sales of one month of second month and we have here total if we just move it you can insert sales uh, <clears throat> so for example if we have sales from the previous month and in the current month as month is ongoing we when we change the day, uh, value total sale is automatic, automatically updated you see we can also format these uh, values as we already shown for example if you want a uh, dollar or or any other format if we, if we want to quickly uh, take format from one from one cell and move it to another you can, we can do it like this so if we want to this uh, value of 15 to be shown like this we go to format painter so right now it took the format from this cell and we click on the one that we want to format same as this one you'll notice that they are uh, the same format now let me show you again so when we click on this 15 we can click format painter and click on the bottom one you see it took the same background color which is yellow it took the same format of the currency and 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 decimal points <clears throat> so this is a quick way of of formatting the data if we take format painter and and we select all of this data uh, now you see they are the same because uh, value of this cell is the same it's just that we formatted each one differently to show us on different way the same value uh, here we saw a um, simple example when we add two cells we have in excel we have formulas and functions let me just show you the example formulas. Some formulas and function, functions uh, give us same result, but functions are a little bit more complicated. They are uh, they could do uh, more complex stuff. 
you see formulas are like this. If I say equals this cell plus this cell my, uh, minus, I don't know, this cell. It gives us a result. But function, each function has a name. We can say sum. You see, uh, it is offering us all of the functions that starts with sum. When I click on the sum, we can select the range we want to summarize, close brackets, and then enter. This is uh, this is simple simple uh, overview of the sum function because it is same as uh, as if we click each cell individually. But I want to show you, uh, for example, VLOOKUP formula. It is one of the most commonly used in finance and also in statistics, but uh, it is a little bit complex in the start. So I have an example table here when we have, I know each person name, height, weight, and is it male or female? Uh, <clears throat> now, imagine if you have a database of the clients where we have 100,000 different clients or names, and we want to find a uh, for example, height of only these two. Let me just imagine if it is like this, and and it goes uh, it goes over hundred thousand times. So I can use we look up formula. You'll notice uh, on the left here when I said when I insert plus or equals, Excel knows I'm going to write formula. So here. I can click and it gives me, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 of my most used formulas. So Excel, uh, as you as you work in Excel, it is it is automatically customized to you. You see, if I write equals, he knows I'm writing a formula and I can click here for some of the my most commonly used. You see, we look up is the second one because today, actually I use the today formula most of the time so let me just first show you what does the formula do then i'll try to explain it as best as i can now if we imagine that this is the database of hundred thousand clients and we want to find a specific one we will not scroll until we find it because it would take us a couple of days. We can use VLOOKUP. Uh, what VLOOKUP does, it goes through each of the record and check it if it is identical to the one that we specified here. You see in the in the VLOOKUP formula, we have three, we have three components. First one is what are we looking for? It is this Olivia Bennett. Second one is where is it, where is it looking for for this record? And the third one is which column does it does it checks in? So we can even, for example, let me show you why is this uh, useful. Mm -hmm. Just a second, just to show you what we can do with this form. These orange cells are automatically updated based on this one, based on the yellow cell. So if I have, I don't know, for example, if I want to check for the Daniel Parker, client specifically. I will not go over here, then scroll, then find it manually, but I can type his name. And then you see here, it automatically changes because these orange cells, value in them is not manually inserted. We did not uh, click here and then inserted one, eight, one. 
but it is automatically calculated based on the value in the yellow cell. So, for example, we can say, show me the show me the details for the James Carter. You see, it is automatically updated. We can we can create, uh, for example, a dashboard where, where we have database on the one side with details for each and every one of the, our customer, for example. And over here, we can use formulas and functions to create a dashboard or the overview of the specific client. This is the one example of the function, VLOOKUP function. <clears throat> Uh, another another one comment is the count if. As the name suggests, we can count these records by by uh, how do you say based on the on on our perimeter. For example, we can count how much of of uh, of our customers is either male or female. So. County formula. It has two components. Let me just write it down so you can see result and then we will comment on what it does. Let me just show you the simple count one. Count formula. You see, we, we type count and then in brackets we specify the range it is column d second count a this counts non empty cell cells so if you want to know how much uh, how many records do we have in the d column it can be even a column whatever then we say count a and it gives us uh, the count of total total non empty rows so it is 41. If you want to know how many of those rows is either male, for example, or, or female, we can use similar formula. It is called count if, as its name suggests, we have certain criteria. So we say count if in this range, what is criteria? We say in the we say M and it gives us result. There are 20 male. We can do the same for the female. Count if we specify the range and then F, F. it is 20. You'll notice that when we add up these two uh, numbers, they are not equal to 40, 41, but 40. That's because when we counted the whole, whole uh, database, it counted also the column name, but the column name is not either male nor female, it is title. So uh, we, here we have 41 because title is included. If we delete the title, here you see if we change uh, one female to male you see here it is automatically updated if we delete a couple of these records everything is linked together and it automatically updates so biggest thing to remember is functions are not the data that we manually insert itself we can we can, for, I, I saw in my career examples when people were doing it manually, they go like this and count it one, two, three, four, five, six. But when you have functions, it is always uh, correct and you do not have to waste your time on, on, manual, on manual work. <clears throat> for example, if you want to know average height of all of these names, there is also function called average. You see, 
we type average open bracket. We click on the column that we want to average from, close brackets, and then enter. You see, this is the average height of all of these of all of these records. We can you maybe notice noticed a little bit. You maybe noticed uh, when we click on the formula bar, it is highlighting the column that we specified in our function. We can click on that column and switch it to the next one. You see now we have average of the C column, which is weight. So we can we can move to a certain parameters from the functions. But if I move it to the name, it gives us error. We cannot because we cannot uh, we don't have average value of names because it is txt format. It is not a number format. That's why I said some formulas work with txt and some work with the numbers and some work with uh, in both numbers and txt. So we will click once again. We will move it back to the height. We can also use sum to sum up all of the height, for example, close brackets and then click enter. <clears throat> I will show you now, uh, just a second, formulas, insert functions. You can see here there are many, many formulas and functions in Excel. It, it may take a lifetime to, to master all of them. You can see here, when I scroll, there are many, many, many different formulas. But there are maybe 20 or 30 most commonly used one in, in Excel. Uh, maybe uh, I can say maybe 20 of the formulas are 90% of time used. Other, other ones are, are rarely used. They are mostly advanced statistical formulas. <clears throat> so uh, we can go back to the to the data formats. You noticed when I want to highlight some uh, cell, I change its background color. It's pretty much same as in the Microsoft Word and many other Microsoft tools. You see here on the bottom left part, we have our uh, data visualization, how do I say it, font, font visualization tool. We can change the font color, background color, bold it, uh, enlarge our text, make it smaller, and so on. Here you have most common data formats, and as you already said, you can right click, format cell, and choose one. When you go right click and format cell, uh, here it gives you an example of how the cell will look like if you use that format. You see here, number if I if I click on the more decimal places, it will look like this. Here it, it gives you the preview for the currency, for the date, for even for the time, <clears throat> percentage and fraction, and so on. So there are endless data formats to choose from. Or the maybe I didn't mention, but it's pretty it is pretty important. We can delete and add columns pretty easily. If I want to delete the data from those cells, we can select them and press delete, but format remains. We can also delete the whole column. We can delete it. So we select the columns. You, you notice we can select a range inside our sheet, but we can also select the whole column or even the whole row. If I select columns like this, and then on one of the selected columns, I right click and delete, it deletes the whole column. We can do it here. We can insert the column or insert the row. 
it always it always inserts it uh, left of the column that we are selecting, and for the rows it inserts the row new row above the selected row. So I can delete it. I can delete this one. So when I click on the K, click insert, it inserts it to the left. We can also do that with our whole sheets. You'll notice on the bottom left, uh, uh, we have different sheets. I can click on the first sheet and delete. Them. Those are uh, like the pages inside the book. Excel file is like the book and sheet are like different pages. You see here a uh, plus sign, we can add new sheet and it opens up a new blank file, a uh, new blank sheet within the same file. We can also delete it. We can change colors for better navigation. Just right click tab color and we, we are changing the color. <clears throat> uh, also regarding the the formats of the cells, you can have here the pre-selected ones. I click on the cell and then here on the bottom. I, I, as we go over them with our mouse cursor, it is showing us the preview. We can click on the one and it will remain. We can even click on the whole row or column. If I click on the D column, I can click this little uh, arrow and it opens up uh, more formats. You see, we can have many different pre-selected uh, data formats, uh, data visualization formats. <clears throat> so on the home tab, as well as you said, are the, some of the most common use, commonly used options. It is mostly used for basic visualization, basic data manipulation and formulas. When we try to type some formula on the left bottom part, it gives us a little window with our most used formulas. I will also show you uh, an example of the chart and how, are, how the charts are inserted. I will show you just the visual part because when we go over to the data part of the charts and, and, and graphic graphs, there are many options. I'll show you the simple one. We will now combine our functions with the data visualization. We will make pie chart and show how many, how many male and how many female customers do we have. So we will have male and female, as we already did shown, we will use count if formula. So count if this column, email, and we will use count if female. So we will make a pie chart from this data. We select the data, go to insert, uh, here we have pre-selected a couple of mostly used graphical visual, uh, tools. We have line chart, we have bars, and we have pie chart, you see, <clears throat> it is showing the male female ratio let me let me just quickly manually change the couple of these so i will change this one you see the chart it is automatically updating as we do it so excel is useful if we have some overview like this we can just paste or extract the data from, I don't know, some web application here, we paste data and the chart is automatically showing that data. We don't have to do anything anymore with this chart. We just have to paste new data here. 
you see on the right, it is automatically changing because we have formulas that are taking the data from this part, this yellow part, whatever we do here, it reflects here, and whatever reflects here, it is shown in the chart. We can even, we can customize this chart, we can change colors, we can change titles, and so on. There are, just let me show you, there are endless options, options with the charts. When we double click on the chart, we have many options, but this is maybe best explored if you create simple chart and then uh, explore manually this option, play with it. I will, I will show you once again how to create more simple charts so you can try it yourself on the blank Excel file. So, for example, we can say male five, female three. Or we select call data, including the name and the number. We go to insert, then to pie chart. There are 3D, you see, whatever we like. We can mo move the chart. Now, if I change the number here, it is reflected on this chart. And if I double click the chart, you see here you have many options, including for the background, for the border color, and so on. You can, we can even, for example, if you click on the chart, we can uh, extrude this 3D model. So, you see, it is automatically shown and updated. I don't know, maybe I went too fast or I show too much options, but I just want to show you what is possible in Excel. There, there is no way that you can remember all of this. This is only mastered by repetition and everyday usage. But it is it is maybe good to see what is possible and then if you know something is possible in Excel, you can maybe Google it or I don't know use chat GPT. But I just want to show you some of the most commonly used functionalities of Excel. So if you want to, we can have a Q&A session now. And if you have any questions, I can try to answer you. If that's OK. Thank you very, very much, uh, Peter Stanik. Uh, wonderful uh, session about one of the most widely used computer program, Excel from the uh, Microsoft Office Suite. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I like uh, that statement from the presenter that uh, there is absolutely no way you can remember all this. The session was essentially uh, hands-on, uh, very pragmatic, very practical, and the very, very best way you can take full advantage of all that is to go on your own computer and put all these in practice. It's going to be trial and error, which means you're going to try it. Uh, this time it doesn't work. You try the next two hours, you try the next day until you get it and you master the concept about uh, using a spreadsheet uh, through Excel, uh, throughout uh, data entry, the functions, the uh, formulas, and the math calculations. We got it all with uh, Peter Stanich, and pretty much uh, right on time. Like he said, uh, this is now the moment for you to ask questions. Uh, we really don't have too much time, but uh, Peter uh, Stanich was uh, wise enough to allow enough time, ladies and gentlemen. We have uh, 15 minutes. I'm just asking you to uh, just always go to the point. Don't bother saying, you know, sending greetings uh, all over or making all types of uh, comments. Uh, I love your comments, but uh, for the sake of 
allowing everybody to grab a chance to uh, ask questions. So uh, please, let's go very directly to the questions and make it quick, one question at a time. And we are beginning with Ismael Adebola. Go ahead, Ismael. Uh, are you there, Ismael? Yeah. I'm here, sir. Go ahead. Good morning, sir. Good morning, dear presenter. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, my question is this, sir. How can individuals use ESA for budgeting and financial analysis? How can we use so, Excel for budgeting and, uh, and financial analysis? and financial analysis? Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, for the budgeting part, maybe best example is this one right here. As we we had similar example last time. So, if you want to visually uh, check your budget, have a visual presentation of your budget and spending. I know if you have budget of hundred and fifty dollars and let's say you spent fifty dollars then you can have this pie chart that shows you how much you spent and how much is it left so orange part is the one that we spent and the blue one is that we have left also for the financial analysis we can have uh, functions and formulas to summarize data. I use that in my daily job where you have database of all of your clients and how much did they spend. You can have function. Let, let's say this is the profit profit from, from each client and this is, I can just delete everything else. If you have client and their profit for the financial, financial analysis, we can have total profit and then use formula to show us our total profit that we have. We can also do that for the costs, for the new sales and so on. So for the financial analysis, Excel is pretty much widely used uh, to, to summarize data from databases. Very, very strategic answer that uh, tackled uh, both dimensions of your question, Ismael, the uh, budgeting and the financial analysis. Thank you very much, Stanich. Going now to uh, Caroline Olaratik Bay. Uh, Caroline, this is your turn at this moment. Caroline. Oh, hi, yeah, I've just admitted myself. Thank you. My question is straightforward. I just want to know, when, because when you were demonstrating, when do we use for the formulas plus or equal sign to bring up the formulas? Thank you. Peter. Excellent questions. I was going to explain that and maybe I missed it. It is, it is uh, totally the same. So, Either way, if you use plus sum or equals, it is totally the same. Excel recognizes it is same thing. You see here, he, we used equals. And on the top one, we used plus, but Excel automatically put equals plus. So it is the same thing. Okay. I love that uh, this session is not just about literature. We are looking into the uh, hands-on aspect of the session, uh, which makes it uh, extremely useful. I hope uh, you agree with me. Getrude Lubega, who has a question, and the floor is yours at this time. Getrude.
Hello, greetings everyone. Hi. Uh, hi. I just wanted to know about uh, visualization. Can uh, uh, the tutor help us understand visualization on the toolbar? We have uh, uh, good, we have neutral. How can you use it? Thank you. You're welcome. Peter? So we can also show it on this example. For example, if you have total profit and expenses, I don't know, for example. So what you see here, good, neutral, calculation, note, and so on. Uh, it is just a placeholder text to show us what it would look like. For example, for the profit, we can use the good color scheme to show us profit. And for the expenses, we can click on the bed and it shows us uh, in the red. If we want to better visualize something, for example, right now we, we better see which are the profits and which are the expenses. If you have many items, then you can highlight certain ones like this bed, good or neutral. It doesn't do anything automatically, but it just just uh, formats those cells like we see it up here. So it is not a good, bad, or neutral, but the full just it is just the visualization tool. Okay. Wow, I am very impressed. Uh, are you ready, Emmanuel or Gure? Emmanuel? Yes, I'm ready. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right. So my my own question is around the uh, the the V look that you showed uh, not too long ago. So uh, what's the difference between that and Ctrl F? Uh, let me show you here in with the Ctrl F. Ctrl F is is find tool. We can just, I don't know, with the Ctrl F, uh, it will show us the cell where the Charlotte is, for example. It just takes us to, the, to that cell. But with the VLOOKUP, it extracts the value from this row somewhere that we want it. Control F is just to find, like in any document, you can just, if you have complete database, it will just, just show you in which row is certain client. But if you want to have on top overview for some client that you click, like we've shown, so VLOOKUP is the formula that extracts the data from from certain client, but uh, with the control F, we just find the uh, find the location of of that client inside database, just like in the Word and for PDF or on website. Very good. Uh, let's uh, have a quick switch now to the uh, uh, to the chat channel, and that's a question for a weave. I mean, from Columbus and Gelese. Uh, how do we do automatic addition, multiplication, and subtraction on a spreadsheet? Mm -hmm. uh, that we already shown. Those are the simple formulas. We can say equals profit minus expense. And over here, we see that we are 99 uh, Minus 91, we have loss. If we have um, less expense, for example, 3000, it is automatically shown. So in, in short, we use formulas and functions to do automatic addition, multiplication, and calculation in Excel. You're doing a marvelous job, Peter Stanley. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Safo Boye, let's go quickly with your question, please. Hello. Yes. Thank you for the presentation. I would want to request a little bit of elaboration on the formula and the function. Okay. Will there be a difference between the formula and the function? All right. So... Uh, the one we see here is the formula where we have just simple one cell minus another. 
but function have fun, function has names. So we say sum. This is the sum function. We click on the column and add it. This is the function where we have name and formula is simply one cell minus another one or plus another one or, or we can do multiplication and so on. Uh, the V lookup that we've seen is also a function because it has its own name. It is V lookup. So that's the biggest difference. Functions have more, uh, functions are more complex. Formulas are simple. Operations between different cells. Ebenezer, Conlan. The floor is on your end at this time. Ebenezer. Okay, good afternoon, sir. Prof. Hi. Okay, please ask my question. I want to know how can I use Excel to estimate my yearly or monthly income expenditure on profit and loss as a businessman on a chart bar or a graph? <clears throat> so it is only the matter of logic. I can show you for a, a, an example how I would do it. Uh, we can we can use Excel if you have many different expenses. We can use Excel Excel to uh, simplify it. For example, let's say we open up a new sheet, and let's say you have here you have expenses, and here you have your revenues. We can use formulas to summarize different expenses and revenues. We can use sum for expenses, and we can use also sum for revenues. Now, here you input your expenses. Let's say you have 150 expense, then 200, then for a couple of days, 500. They're adding here. Here you can have your revenues. Let's say you get your, I don't know, paycheck, then some, some gift, and so on. It is automatically showing here. You can also have on the bottom revenues minus expense to see how much are you left with. So this is the one example of simplification. You have uh, you have one part when you have the more details, and over here you use formulas and functions to 